In this video, I will review and test a very different type of laser module, the 1064 nanometers infrared laser module for the Xtool D1 Pro. Instead of emitting blue light like most diode laser engravers, it emits the invisible infrared light. Infrared light has different absorption compared to visible light, so you will be able to engrave different materials with this laser module. I will show you how well it engraves different plastics and metals and this laser module is also very good at cleaning old coins and removing rust. This video is sponsored by the X-Tool. Watch the full video and if you like this laser module, you can participate in a free giveaway and you might win one infrared module for free. But more on that later in the video. The infrared laser module is sold as an additional accessory to expand the capabilities of your X-Tool D1 Pro laser engraver. In the package you get the module and a stronger power supply if you don't already have it with the machine. Laser module is focused the same way using a focusing lever, just like the standard X-Tool laser module. This laser module is massive. It is even bigger than already very large 20 watt laser module. To start engraving, just replace the existing module on your X-Tool D1 with the infrared one and you are good to go. First, I will measure its true optical output power. The laser is advertised as 2 watts, but it outputs even more power than this, which is great. You may be thinking that 2 watts of power is very low, but since the absorption of the infrared light is different, it engraves plastics and metals like butter at lightning speeds thanks to the incredibly tight focus as you will see later in the video. I have engraved my standard interval test pattern to see how big is the focus spot. This laser module has a very compressed focus spot. The spot is the smallest of any laser I have tested so far. It is more than three times smaller than average blue laser. Even the smallest one millimeter text is easily readable. This will come in handy for engraving very small details on jewelry. The focus spot size is 0.05 by 0.05 millimeters, which is by far the smallest so far. Now let's try to engrave some raw aluminum. This laser can directly engrave raw aluminum, which is what is impossible to engrave using blue diode laser. The engraving is very deep and it will stay there forever. The 20 watt module left no mark despite engraving with 10 times the power of the infrared module. Next, I tested how different speeds affect the engraving quality. I ran the machine at full power at various speeds to see the difference. The speed did not have a significant effect on the engraving which is really impressive. This means you can engrave aluminium at very high speeds and save a lot of time. Even at high speeds, the engravings are deep and can catch a fingernail. Next, I tried to engrave transparent glass, which was unsuccessful even if the surface was painted black. This is where blue laser can be better if the surface is blackened. I tried to engrave some fake jewelry. Since this laser module has very compressed spot, you can engrave very small text. I also tried to engrave an aluminum ring using the X-Tool RA2 rotary attachment that I have previously reviewed. With some smart tinkering you could also engrave the inside of the ring with this rotary attachment. This laser module is also very good at engraving on chrome surfaces like this wrench. Engravings come out very deep and will last a long time. Brass is also one of those materials that can't be engraved with blue laser at all. But the infrared module left me speechless again. Engraving is perfect, very detailed and also very deep. Very impressed. As you can see, blue laser does not leave a single mark on brass at full power. Copper is similar to brass. Can't be engraved with blue light, 
but the infrared module has engraved it perfectly. Here I did a test on a blank printed circuit board material which has a thin layer of copper on top. But it also works just as well on solid copper. Amazing results! Stainless steel is the only raw metal that can be directly engraved with a blue laser module of sufficient power, usually from 10 watts upwards with some good exceptions like the Sculptfun S9. I tried to engrave some sample text at two different speeds. The words test made with thicker lines were made with the 10 watt X-Tool laser in my review of the X-Tool RA2 rotary attachment. You can see that the infrared laser makes much thinner lines and it is able to engrave at higher speeds. I tested the durability by sanding the surface and the infrared laser engravings proved themselves to be just as, if not more durable than the engravings made with blue laser module. Black acrylic is where this infrared laser module really shines. The engraved lines are white and full of contrast. Compared to engravings made with the blue laser module, the engravings look like night and day. The engraved line pops out and can be caught easily with a fingernail. The engravings on black acrylic is very durable and will last a long time. Engraving colored and transparent acrylic is still very good, but not as impressive as black acrylic. I tried to engrave transparent, blue and yellow acrylic directly, and the results were still quite good, but not as spectacular as they were on black acrylic. Maybe more tweaking of the settings could improve these engravings even more. Considering that blue laser modules can't engrave transparent acrylic directly, this infrared module is a great thing to have in your arsenal. Since the black acrylic produced such a great result, I also tried to engrave this power supply brick. The result was not as good as black acrylic, but still very nice looking. Try to do a quick engraving on green ceramic cup and the result was more or less very similar to the results produced with blue lasers. Maybe there would be more benefit with different colored cups that blue lasers can't engrave. Infrared lasers don't work well on wood and similar organic fibrous materials as the infrared is not well absorbed in them. But that is where blue lasers are excellent at. I tried to engrave some old leather. The result was very good looking. The engravings weren't charred like with the blue laser, instead, they were nice and brown like they should be. Cleaning old coins is my favorite feature of this laser module. I cleaned this dirty old coin with the infrared laser and it made the coin like new. You could ramp up the power and speed for faster process. I also tried to clean the coin with a blue laser at 50% power and it had no cleaning effect at all. It just made the surface even darker. If you didn't know, the infrared laser is amazing at removing rust. The surface is perfectly clean. I also tried to remove the rust with the blue laser, but it left the surface dark and ugly. If I reduced the power, then the rust was not removed. The infrared is far superior in this case. And now let's talk about the giveaway. The X-Tool is sponsoring this video and they are having a festival sale and they are giving away one infrared laser module to one lucky viewer of this video. All you need to do is to like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out the X-Tool sale, there is a link in the video description. Then leave a comment describing what do you want to create with X-Tool products in the upcoming festival. The giveaway ends on 1st of October and the winning comment will be picked by the random comment picker. If there will be more than 200 comments, two comments will win the module and if the video gets more than 500 comments, three infrared modules will be given away. The winner will be announced in my next video. So, subscribe and stay tuned. If you can't wait, there is also a discount coupon code in the video description for 10% off during the sale.